Rick brings a whole new level of professionalism and enthusiasm and, and dedication to Sherman, and his vision helped make tonight possible, as Ed said. He's a joy to work with, and I'm proud to call him a friend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rick Floyd. Thank you all for your kindness. I have to say, on a personal note, as I look out at this crowd of friends and supporters tonight in this beautiful new building, I'm so glad that Sherman picked my wife Maureen and me eight and a half years ago. It's nice to be part of this journey that you, uh, you're on here. Thank you. There is a, another thank you I want to make. We have a group of three persons at Sherman in our PR and marketing department that make a lot of things happen. And Chris Priester is the director, and she's always saying, oh, well, Josh and Michelle do it all. And yesterday, Josh said, oh, well, for the gala, Michelle did it all. I want you to know that all three of them are terrific, but I want to especially thank Michelle Howe. Did she do a good job tonight with this party? Michelle Howe, right there. Michelle Howe. She makes a lot of good things happen. And as excited as we are to be in this terrific new facility, I have to say that it's all about the people, folks. We know that. Healthcare is all about the people. And for Sherman, the story begins with our board. There is no more engaged board anywhere in America. And I want to especially thank the board for their appetite for risk. I mean, this is a project that took a lot of chutzpah. And they are willing to step forward and take the risk and make it happen. And would you please join me in thanking Chairman's board? As we look to the future, to Sherman's board, I ask you to continue to give your full measure of devotion, your high degree of engagement, and with that commitment that you have always had to becoming the best community hospital in the nation. To our donors, as Lane said, to community leaders, to friends and leaders in the community, please stick with us because, as Lane said, our best days are yet to come and you ain't seen nothing yet. There is a, a special group of people I want to thank, and Sherman has a relatively small group of leaders who make things happen every single day. And this group of people has always give, given the full measure of devotion. They have always stepped up when something needed to be done. And I can't tell you, you are already, Sherman leaders, one of the best leadership teams at a hospital in America, and I am so proud to be working with you. Thank you to the Sherman leadership team. I want to speak to the doctors here tonight because you, as much as anyone, are responsible for the fine reputation that Sherman enjoys today for high quality care and for terrific service. As we move forward, be our partners. Make us as great as we can be. And I have to tell you, Sherman is an organization that will listen to you, where your voice matters, where your input will make a difference in how we move forward. Be our partner. Make us great. And I'll tell you what, we will become the best community hospital in the nation. <laughs> to everybody who has supported us in our journey so far, Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I have to say, with the full measure of commitment from everyone here tonight, not only is the future now and our best days yet to come, but we will become the best community hospital in the nation. Thank you for being part of the journey. Well, dear friends, the 
speeches are finished, but we hope their message lingers on, and we hope that you have a time this evening to visit the entire facility, browse, if you would, and see the amazing sushi bar back there, the, all of the things that are set up on the lower level. It's a beautiful night, and we thank you so very much for coming and for being part of this historic and memorable evening. Please enjoy yourselves as we begin a new chapter for healthcare in our community. The future is now. Thank you.